Hello, my solar energy family. Hey, how's everybody doing today? You welcome. <laughs> it's the usual suspect. My name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. So today we're talking about the things you can do to ensure that your solar system lasts a lot longer. Okay, so it's important. There's a few things that we don't put into cognizance, all right? And that essentially affects our installations and makes it not to last longer. So today I'm pretty much going to be talking to installers. These are the things you need to do. You have certain responsibilities on your own part to ensure that the solar that you have installed lasts a lot longer. I'm also talking to homeowners. This is your money. So you need to ensure that you play your part. It is even double important on your own part that you need to ask the right questions. If you haven't subscribed, hey, what are you waiting for? You need to be officially a member of this solar energy community. And from today henceforth, nobody's ever gonna tell you about what's happening in the solar energy world. Of course, if you subscribe, you're gonna be the very first to know once we have fresh and brand new videos. Do not forget to share, do not forget to comment, and do not forget to like. <laughs> so you have a double-sided responsibility, all right? So you as the installer, you have a responsibility to ensure that all this your beautiful installation because it's not easy to put all of these things together it's not a small job all right all these connections ensuring that the right routing is done the right configurations the calibrations the setup i mean these are the things that you have done and you need to ensure that the way you have done it it stays that way it lasts a lot longer because that's what you want okay so if the installations that you've done is great hey your client is always going to call you to do more and more job and that's essentially what you want you don't want your client to call you on the phone and you guys are always fighting on the phone that means he's never going to recommend it to someone else all right so what ensures that a good job you have done is preserved is to keep to your end of the bargain in terms of responsibility so there's a responsibility that is expected from you as soon as you have finished doing the installation and you the homeowner it's even more important because everything at the end of the day is going to come back to you. All of this money you've spent to get an inverter is not cheap. To get a solar panel is not cheap. All of these components that makes up the solar system is not cheap. All right, so you need to protect these appliances. You need to ensure that you do everything it takes for these appliances to last. And that is your job. You need to ask the right questions. So what exactly is expected from the installer? Doesn't he just do his installation and just walk away? I mean, the job is done, right? <laughs> right, so the installer, you don't just do installations and you just walk away. That is very wrong. You have to engage in what we call family talk. You know, we have this family talk all the time. You know, daddy sits down with mommy, with the kids, and we talk about how this home is going to run, certain things that are not working well that's the same way you have to have a family talk with your client the moment you have done the installation you say hey sir please come around please come on have a seat hey madam please have a seat to have a talk the installation is done but it's a few things we need to talk so that's a family talk that has to happen after this installation is done it's called a handover you know when you're handing over something to somebody you need to explain to the person the mechanics and the functions of how these things you know are meant to be so i'll share this story with you guys i was called into an installation so i had to leave lagos to go down to or to go and check an installation so this particular client is really very worried he just can't understand what exactly is going on after all the money he spent dude has 32 tubular batteries did you hear me 32 tubular batteries now do the math <laughs> that's a lot of batteries and dude has 42 solar panels and he's like what exactly is going on here and he just doesn't understand the reason why the system is failing he's not having enough energy he's having to resort back to the generator he was using before so he needed someone to come around to check the system so i got a call and i had to um fly down to over from lagos so when i got there what i saw was extremely very heartbreaking even though it wasn't my money but i felt like crying i felt like breaking down weeping like a little baby <laughs> it was really bad now when i checked the content of the tubular battery of course you know you have an have electrolyte in the batteries okay so when the electrolyte goes down you need to fill it up with distilled water so when i got there 
there was no form of any liquid inside the battery the electrolyte had completely dried out <sighs> I just didn't know how to break this news to this man that all these batteries are gone because the moment you have that electrolyte going below that battery level everything is pretty much gonna dry off so I was just really lost about what I could tell this man okay it's because the guy has been running on dry plates and the cells of the battery was completely gone and this was simply because the installer that did the job just didn't tell the man that look the electrolyte or the distilled water goes down and after a while you're meant to hydrate it all right you're meant to add water to it a distilled water to ensure that it comes up back into that level so that plate that you have inside of the battery is always supposed to be submerged with that water so if that doesn't happen the battery is going to damage and that's essentially what has happened here so in the batteries you have um, the markings you have the red markings and you have the green markings so when the distilled water goes below that um, green line and goes down to red and it shows you like danger like it's time for a refill if you don't do that and you continue to charge the batteries the water will completely go below the plate and once it goes below the plate the battery will go bad so the man had 32 batteries completely bad that he had to replace so it was a very huge loss it was a very very painful one because he had just used it a, for some few months and he had just had to replace it and that is coming from the fact that the installer did not do his job so there's a certain responsibility that you're supposed to have as soon as you do your installation now the man is never ever going to call you again in fact he could lock you up in a police station okay so he's never gonna call you again so at that point you have lost him you have lost all the people he could have referred you to and that's pretty bad for your business so ensure that once the installation is done pretty much you sit him down you sit your client down and you explain to them how these things function the things you can do the things you can do on this system to ensure that the system itself lasts a lot longer so what i'm saying this is the installations that you do come in different capacities in different kvs so take for instance if you did like a 3.5 kv installation for your client i don't mean the kv is from the inverter point of view i'm talking about the capacity of the batteries and the solar panels all right so these are the things that will support the capacities and now you need to let your client know the do's and don'ts the things he can and cannot do with these installations that you have done because as far as they're concerned they have power now so they begin to abuse it that's what you call abusing it when you begin to load it up or you begin to subject it to the loads that are more than the capacities that you have that is an abuse it's pretty much subjecting a little child to carry a load that is meant for an adult <laughs> that child is gonna cave in okay so you need to let them know that there are certain things you can do here this is just a 3.5 kV installation so you don't expect to be subjecting it to pretty much maybe pumping water pressing iron using all of those very huge inductive appliances on it okay you can't do that in this installation the things you can only use for it is your lighting point your television you know just like a few things but do not use very heavy appliances on do not subject load to it and learn to turn off lights that you don't need so for instance if you're moving from this room and you go into another room you're not there anymore right you learn to turn it off that would lessen the pressure on the inverter okay so learn to regulate talk to them and say okay these are the things you need to do you need to pretty much pamper these appliances pamper this installation like it's your baby so it's really not even about how solid or how superior the components are okay so once you begin to abuse the installation it's gonna win it's like when you buy a brand new car you say okay ah this is a range rover it's a very strong car and you begin to subject it to loads that are more than it probably you're using it to tow a trailer or a very big truck all the time and that you do that on a regular the car is gonna go down regardless of how beautiful or how solid it is or how rugged or tireless that's essentially how the process is so you need to let them know that you cannot put a load that is bigger than these appliances all right so you learn to run as light as possible regulate your loads to ensure that this installation that has been done for you last and you the homeowner 
it is even double important on your own part that you need to ask the right questions when an installation has been done for you it's pretty much like buying a new tv you have to read the manual to find out how you can operate this TV to get the full value. So many people actually use their television for a very long time without actually finding out a few functions in the TV that are actually constituting the in, in the first place why the TV is that expensive. Okay, so when you have an appliance that has been installed for you, you need to double show and find out how to use these appliances, things you can do, things you can do to ensure that um, the appliance that has been installed for you lasts a lot longer so you need to be asking the right questions what do i do is there anything i need to know and when you ask this question even if the installer because the installer can actually forget because it could be a very honest oversight and he could forget not to tell you about how to uh, uh, operate the inverters that he has installed for you and he just walks away all right so you should be able to ask the right question so as you're asking the right question he'll be giving you the information that you need that will ensure that this installation lasts a lot longer so it's important you the owner of the house you have your own responsibility and you the installer you also have your own responsibility all right to be able to educate your client on how best to operate this appliances to ensure that the lifespan increases the solar panel lasts a lot longer the charge controllers the inverters the batteries most especially because the batteries is going to constitute the large chunk of the bulk of money you're going to use in this installation so if the batteries are not treated properly like what just happened when i went down to see this installation that they called me and said it wasn't working well and i came in to discover that the battery has completely dried off distilled water and electrolyte okay this could have been avoided if only the installer had done his job by letting the homeowner know that you need to replace this after a couple of days after a couple of months after a while you need to hydrate these batteries because most times the homeowners have zero knowledge about how these things function they don't know they have zero knowledge okay so you are the person that they are looking up to you're the one that is supposed to guide them around the principles of how these things functions and how they can better use it okay so that's it's pretty much the things we can do to ensure that our solar system lasts a lot longer all right everyone that's the very much we got time for today thank you very very much for being part of this my name is Tilly Kenna from Smiling Sun everything solar installation everything in Vata installation everything going green if you haven't subscribed hey come on now don't you want to be part of this solar energy community from today henceforth nobody and I mean nobody's ever gonna tell you about what's going on in the solar world so keep yourself constantly updated about the renewable energy around you okay it's very very important and we welcome you with all our hearts so click that subscription button right now before you forget <laughs> do not forget to comment do not forget to share and do not forget to like and i'll see you guys in the next video